Welcome to this episode of Outside Fun, where we'll be taking a look at black walnuts. Here's what the black walnut tree looks like. Notice how deeply furrowed the bark is. The leaves are narrow and grow in pairs along the branch, one across from the other. The leafy branches also grow outward from a central hub, which the walnut fruits are also attached to. This is a black walnut. It doesn't look too much like a walnut now, but that's only because the shell is covered in a thick layer of this green flesh. In this form, the walnuts loosely resemble a lime. They will also have a potent odor, which to me also resembles the scent of a lime, only much stronger. Don't ask me why. In these shots, I'm picking the walnuts from the branches, but the best time to harvest a walnut is in the fall, when they drop to the ground. That's because when walnuts ripen, they automatically fall to the ground. Once you've gathered the walnuts, the next step is to peel the outer layer of, of flesh from them. I suggest wearing a pair of gloves to do this because the flesh will stain your fingers green, and you probably don't want the smell getting on your hands either. Another way to tell if a walnut is ripe is by lightly pressing your thumb into the flesh. If you can easily leave an indentation, then it's ripe. If it's hard to make a thumbprint, then that means it's not yet ripe. Peeling the flesh away should be quite easy, and after that the flesh can be discarded. And there's what the walnut looks like after it's been washed. Anyway, I gathered a bag full of ripe green walnuts. However, I let the bag sit for a few weeks, and the walnuts, uh, the walnuts quickly turned uh, to a black color and started to disintegrate. It's best not to let the flesh turn black like this because the juices from the flesh can leach into the shell and will stain them black. That being said, walnuts that have turned black are still good to eat. It's just that they may not taste as good as they could have when they were ripe. So I decided to use the walnuts anyway. I peeled the flesh off and I threw them into a container of water. The water quickly turned black and uh, I washed any remaining fibers from the walnuts and I agitated the water uh, to let the shells rub against each other to continue to remove the, uh, any fiber from the flesh that was left on. When the water becomes black, I pour it out and I fill the container back up again and I continue to wash the shells. I repeat this process until the water remains clear. I then hang the walnuts, walnuts to dry in a cheesecloth. You'll want to let these shells aerate for at least two weeks. This will help the nut meat inside to mature and harden. If you crack the nuts open too early, the nut meat will be soft and it won't taste very good. I've been told that you can keep the shells for up to a year before needing to crack them open. But I recommend that you let the walnuts sit for about a month after defleshing them. Here's a quick way to, to discover which nuts are good and which ones are bad. Fill your sink up with water and drop the nuts in. The nuts with good uh, meat will sink to the bottom, and the nuts with underdeveloped or bad meat will float. Once you've tossed the floating walnuts into the garbage, you're ready to shell the good ones. Here I'm using the blunt end of my hatchet to crack the nuts. I place the nut on its end and I gently but firmly hit away at it until it cracks. The trick is not to use excessive force, but rather to hit it at the right angle. With each half, I lay it face down and crack it again. I keep gently cracking the shell until the nut meats are loose enough to remove without any problem. And here they are, fresh black walnut. As you may have been able to tell, black walnuts are different from the store-bought walnuts, which are called English walnuts. I found the flavor of the black walnut to taste a little sweeter and fruitier than its English walnut counterpart. They are definitely worth a try. Just to show you, I cracked open the bad floating walnuts to show their nut meats. As you can see, the meat from the bad walnuts are shriveled and dry. This. Uh, allowed cavities of air to form inside the shell, which is why the bad ones float. If you liked today's episode, anything to do with wild edibles, log cabins, or survival, 
then please feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching.